Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and tonight is another episode of What's for Dinner. So I'm gonna just take you through a super easy, not really fast, but it's definitely easy Chinese soup. So the cold virus has actually been going through our house for the last week and a half or so. And I remember my mom and grandma used to always say, drink this soup, it's gonna help you cut fa tam, which is like essentially um, help to get rid of your cough and phlegm. Sounds gross, but this soup, I drink it because I actually like it. <laughs> it actually tastes quite good. This soup is actually really simple to make. It only requires five ingredients besides water and salt. And it's called in Chinese, chang hong lo ba tong, which roughly translates to green and orange carrot soup. So obviously, gonna be these babies in it, which is green carrots. Or actually, they actually might be turnips, but we'll call them carrots. Um, regular carrots, lean pork, this, which is a dry preserved date. It comes in packages like this. And then these little guys, which are dried almond seeds. Right, they're teeny tiny. And then of course, salt, water, obviously, because it's a soup, and salt. All right, so let's get cooking. So I placed a piece of pork into a pot of cold water and I turned the stove on too high. Let that come to a boil for a little bit and if there's any brown froth on the top, just make sure you scoop that off. It just keeps the, um, the soup a little bit more clear because this is a clear broth soup. And then while I'm waiting for that to happen, all I'm going to do is just peel and dice these into large chunks for both the green carrots and the regular carrots. Alright, so here we go. are peeled and all I have to do now is just cut off the ends like so all right and then I'm actually just gonna chunk them really big so it's gonna be like this and on angles why I don't know but this is always how we've had it whenever my parents or my grandparents used to make it for me it was always done like this just nice big chunks doesn't have to be perfect or anything All right, so my water's come to a boil, and now all I did was I just turned it down to a medium heat, and I just need to add in the other ingredients. I'm going to use one of these ladles so I don't get splashed. The preserved dates. I'm going to add in the, about eight of these. Almond seeds. That's it. Now you just let it come to a boil. And it's going to sim after it comes to a strong boil, then I'm going to let it simmer for probably about an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. So the soup is now done. I added just a little bit of salt to taste. And I mean, if you want something like super duper healthy, you actually don't even need to add any salt whatsoever um, because it has a, a, a really nice sweet taste to it already. And yeah, all you gotta do is serve and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Leave me a comment below if you end up do if you end up trying this recipe or if you have any other great Asian inspired recipes that I could try, please do leave me a link below or leave me your YouTube video below so that I could check it out as well. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications on all my little stories about life, dance, and Avon, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. This which is a dried preserved fig. Pear? Date. Ah. Blah. Preserved dates. <laughs> Video. Oh my gosh, I suck at endings. I'm so bad at endings. I'm s I don't have a default one. <laughs>